Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Web Design Basics. In this episode, we're going to learn how to make tables. Um, I suppose it's not the most exciting thing ever, but it is a good skill to know because if you want to organize something in a table, um, HTML makes it really, really nice and easy uh, for you to do that. So we'll go ahead and stick this under our image at the bottom of the page. We'll go ahead and make a table. So we're going to use the table um, tag. Sorry. So we're going to be using the table tag, which obviously represents a table. And then inside of it, we're going to put a bunch of uh, different tags. The first tag is going to be tr which means table row. So everything in here goes on one single row. Uh, in the first row, we want to have the uh, headings, which would be in bold. So we're going to do th, which is table heading. And we can go ahead and put in a couple of different headings. Let's just say language and use for programming languages. We're making a table of different uses of programming languages. And in the second one, uh, we're going to go ahead and make another row because the first language, the first row has the language and the use. Uh, and then in here, we're going to put in TD, which I believe stands for table data. And we'll go ahead and put in a couple of examples. So we'll say that Java and Java's main use is for desktop applications. That's the main I mean, you know, there is server stuff, but um, that is it for there. And then we'll go ahead and make another one, and we'll say HTML. We'll put that in TD. Uh, and then we will say um, web design. And uh, we'll put in one more. We'll put in PHP, which is for web development. So just to quickly see what we just did, um, we had our table with an, our um, table row. Our first row had two table headings, language and use. Then we had one row that had Java desktop applications, another row that had HTML web design, and the final row that had uh, PHP and web development. So if we open this up, we should get, excuse me, we should get a nice looking table. And you can see that it is down here at the bottom. It looks pretty nice. It does uh, organize everything for us, but it is kind of missing a border. It seems like uh, a border would make it look pretty good. Um, so we'll go ahead and make some, we're going to use CSS for this. Now we already have the CSS file, so I'm just going to go ahead and add it right in here. So we want to go ahead and change the table itself, um, the table heading, and the table data, because we want to give all of these things a border. So I can go ahead and write table, th, and td. I'm not putting a dot there because these are... Um, Actually, these are uh, tags that are already defined. I'm not creating my own class like dot red. I'm changing one that ones that already exist. We'll go ahead and say border is uh, one pixel small one, and it's going to be solid black. So the border is going to be one pixel. It's going to be a solid border. I guess it's supposed to be a dotted border, and it's going to be black. Now, if we reload you'll notice that we have uh, a border. We have, first of all, a border around the entire table. Then around each table heading and piece of table data, it has its own border. So now everything is nice and bordered. If we wanted to maybe remove table from this for whatever reason, we can look and see now that uh, everything has a border, but, not, but everything isn't unified under one border. Um, I could put table by itself. If I really wanted to, and then it would border the table, but not any of the individual elements. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave um, table, td, th, and td. So that is how you create a table 
And you also use CSS to add borders to the table. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.